three awards of merit. Uh, one to Linda Black for her fiber piece called Thistle. It's a felted piece. It, again, is deceptively simple in that it's basically black and white. Um, but just the different types of fibers and the way she's manipulated them in the thistle form is fascinating, and so it becomes very rich. The more you look at it, the more you see. I thought all of her pieces were nice, but that one in particular echoed. Pink Dragon by Sidra Kaluzka, and I'm sorry if I mangled it, um, is a very traditional painting of a pink flower on a white background. Yupo is notoriously difficult to use with watercolor. And it's crisp, and it's clean, and it's bright. And there again, it just kept, as I walked around again and again and again and again, I kept coming back to that one because it just sort of glows on the wall. And it's a very small piece, but it has a very large presence. Ravel Hamilton, uh, Foggy Morning, also was an award of merit. It's a good example of how to use watercolor in a way that's not quite so traditional and yet a very traditional subject of birds and trees on a foggy morning. But if you look carefully at the background, there must be layers and layers of color. It's very rich. <laughs>
Karen Tauber for Unity and Diversity. It's a fiber piece. It is something that as you walk into the room, it catches your eye because the color and the surface is so different from everything else. But you don't see what's really there until you get up close. And the faces and heads and figures that she has stitched into that quilted piece are fascinating. And it's a very topical piece without beating you over the head, and it's beautifully done.